हेलो एवरीवन सो वी आर बैक विद अनदर एक्सक्लूसिव डेमो वीडियो ऑन सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर वो कॉमर्स प्लग इन सो दिस इज मुनम फिर एंड इन दिस टू डेज डेमो वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द फ्रंट एंड एंड द बैक एंड सेटिंग्स ऑफ द प्लग इन एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो आई विल ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द प्लग इन सो कीप वॉचिंग द वीडियो टिल द एंड सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एनी अपडेट रिगार्डिंग द प्लग इन फंक्शनैलिटी but before proceeding towards the settings let's understand the basic concept of subscriptions for woocommerce what is subscriptions for woocommerce subscriptions for woocommerce is a plugin that will assist the woocommerce merchant or the shop owner to provide their products in the form of subscriptions which in turn will help the store owners to collect the recurring revenue and it will also help the store owner to reboost the recurring services and customer engagement So before you go to WordPress dashboard if you haven't downloaded the plugin we have mentioned the link in the description content and from there you can download the plugin so after installing the plugin you have to move to your WordPress dashboard and click on subscriptions for WooCommerce so as soon as you have clicked on uh, this subscriptions for WooCommerce you will be redirected to the back end settings of subscriptions for WooCommerce and here you can see these are the four sec uh, four sections or four tabs that are overview section general settings subscription table system status so firstly i i will explain you about the overview section so in this overview section you will get to know about what is subscriptions for woocommerce what does it do and what are the features that are included in uh, subscriptions for woocommerce plugin so this was all about the overview section now let's move to next setting that is general settings So in this general settings section the admin or the shop owner can find all the settings related to the subscription based products and services the first functionality is to enable the or disable the subscription so by clicking on this check box the subscriptions for wo commerce functionality will come into action add to cart text so with the help of this functionality or feature the shop owner can change the text that appears on add to cart button like if i have written add subscription to cart so on add to cart text button this text will appear so what does this will do this will help the customer to know that this is a subscription product next is place order text with this functionality the shop owner can edit or change the text or place on the place order button so if i have written uh, buy subscription so this will uh, help the customer to know that he is buying a subscription product allow customer to cancel subscription So with this feature or functionality the WooCommerce merchant can give the authority to the customers to cancel their subscriptions so with this subscription uh, can be cancelled by both the admin as well as the customer so from here you can enable this functionality so after doing all the settings you have to click on save settings so now uh, all the settings have been saved now we will see how we can assign subscription to any simple products so now let's move to products all products so from this product section you can select any of the simple product to make that a subscription product so from here you can choose any of the product which you want to make for a subscription but uh, you have to keep one thing in mind the subscription check box will only be available for simple products like i have selected this magazine subscription to make it a subscription product so uh, let's first put this product category into subscriptions uh, then as you can see this product data this is a simple product now you have to click on subscriptions then you have to click on subscription settings so as you can see the first setting is subscription per interval so with this functionality the, the merchant can set a interval of uh, regular revenue like if i have selected 7 days so with this he will receive the recurring payment after that particular 7 days are completed so he can decide after what time he will receive the payment whether uh, he can decide in days or months or year like uh, he can choose he can uh, choose according to his business needs subscription expiry interval so with this feature the merchant can set a restriction to the customer for how long they can use the subscription like if i have selected 8 uh, days or 7 days so uh, for 7 days uh, the uh, after 7 days are completed the subscription will get expired and the customer will no longer will be able to use the subscription so during that period the customer will have the access uh, within that 7 days but after set limit has been reached 
द पेमेंट विल बी ट्रिगर्ड ऑन द सेम डे एवरी मंथ अंटिल द सब्सक्रिप्शन प्लान गेट्स एक्सपायर्ड इनिशियल साइन अप फी सो विद दिस फंक्शनैलिटी द शॉप ओनर can implement or impose a sign up fee for subscription based product like he can select the amount that a customer has to pay while signing up for any subscription like if i have selected 3 euros so the customer or the user has to pay a initial amount of 3 euros for that subscription and this payment will be automatically added to the recurring subscription payment so with this initial sign up fee feature it will help the shop owner to identify the loyal customers of the store free trial interval so with this functionality the merchant or the shop owner can offer free trials to the user with subscription for woocommerce plugin so like if i have selected 6 days so the customer can take a free trial of 6 days for that subscription and after that free trial is completed the customer has to pay the subscription amount so this will help in increasing the customer engagement of the store so during the free trial the fees is not charged but the recurring payment will begin after the free trial is completed so now let's click on general in which you can set the regular price of that particular subscription product like if i have selected 30 euros so the regular price of that particular subscription product will be 30 euros and second option uh, second functionality you get is sales price so you can set the sale price of that particular product of that particular subscription product and you can also schedule that sale price date from here and you can also cancel that sale price date from here so after setting the regular price uh, as 30 you have to click on update so all the settings for magazine subscription product has been done so now let's move back to the back end settings of subscription for woocommerce to understand the next setting so the next setting is subscription table so in this subscription table the woocommerce merchant or the shop owner will get all the record or the details regarding all the existing subscription plans in his woocommerce shop here the merchant can also delete or cancel the subscription plan the admin will get all the details related to the uh, subscription id parent order id what is the status of the subscription whether it is cancelled or active the he will also uh, get the name of the product uh, and the recurring amount and the user name and what is the next payment date and what is the subscription expiry date so this was all about the subscription table now let's move to next setting that is system status So in this system status the admin or the merchant or the shop owner can check the system status including the wordpress variables wordpress values system variables system values so he can check it from here from the system status so all the settings have been done for the subscriptions for woocommerce now let's move to shop page and see how these back end settings will reflect on the front end So before moving to the shop page let's understand what are the two conditions for charging the recurring payment so the condition one is how we can set up the recurring payment through sign up fee so when the shop owner or the woocommerce merchant charges the sign up fee for example i have set the sign up fee as euro 3 from the back end so when the customer clicks on any of the subscription product then the customer or the user has to enter the card details for the sign up fee payment for the subscription product and from that the card details are fetched and after the free trial has ended or subscription plan gets expired then the recurring amount will be deducted from that fetched card details of the customer bank account so we are on the shop page and as you can see the product that we have selected as a subscription product is coming here that is magazine subscription and we uh, and the regular price that we have set is also coming here along with the settings that we have done for the free trial and the sign up fee that we have selected is also coming here and the text that we have written on that add to cart button is also coming here add subscription to cart now let's click on add subscription to cart as you can see this subscription has been added to cart now and as you can see in the cart total the sub total or the total that we have to pay is of euro 3 because we have selected the initial fee initial sign up fee as euro 3 so it's uh, the total amount that we have to pay is of euro 3 now let's move to checkout so as you can see that uh, you can uh, pay for the initial sign up fee using uh, different payment gateways like credit card or visa or any other payment gateways so now let's buy this subscription
order has been done and it's coming here order has been received and this is the order number and this is the email and this is the total and this is the payment method that we have selected and these are the order details of that subscription product so now at last let's understand the second condition that how to set up the recurring payment without the sign up fee so when the shop owner or the woocommerce merchant from the back end has set the zero initial sign up or he has not entered any value in that sign up uh, sign up column then after the customer has bought the subscription for zero amount then an add payment method button will be triggered in the subscription product detail menu so as soon as he clicks on that button he will be redirected to the payment order page so we are on the shop page and now we will see how to add recurring payment without charging the sign up fee so as you can see this is the subscription product and there is no sign up fee as we have not entered any amount in the sign up fee column so now let's add this subscription to cart so the subscription has been added to the cart and as you can see the cart total has is zero this is because we have not entered any amount in that sign up column sign up initial sign up fee column from the back end now let's proceed to checkout and buy this subscription so the order has been received now as soon as the customer clicks on my account and uh, when he wants to know about the uh, subscription product details uh, like uh, uh, if i have a seller, if i have buy this subscription and if i click on this show to fetch the details of the subscription product so, uh, to see the details like status subscription date and next payment date so below this there is this option add payment method so the customer can uh, click on this as soon as the customer will click on this he will be redirected to the pay for order page from the uh, from here he can add payment method to continue his subscription product so now let's go to my account and see how the customer can see his or her subscription plans and how the customer will get the authority to cancel the subscription so we are on the my account page and let's click on subscriptions so from here the customer can see all the details of the subscription that he has purchased and along with that he can uh, see that all the details related to the status of that particular subscription what is the next payment date what is the recurring total and from action if the customer has selected on that particular uh, subscription and click on show so after clicking on show he can see the particular details of that particular subscription product that he has purchased like uh, what is the status what is the subscription date what is the next payment date and at which date the trial will be ending and what are the subscription order details and he will also get the option of cancelling that particular option from here so in the next update we will introduce a cancel form which has to be filled by the customer so that the shop owner can know why the customer has cancelled the subscription and if the admin cancels the subscription then the customer will receive a email along with the reason attached so as to why it was cancelled so let's go to the back end and see the in the subscription table that how the subscription information is tracked and how the shop owner can cancel the subscription or delete the data of subscription so all the uh, all those things for related to the subscription for woocommerce have been done now let's see uh, the subscription that we have purchased is recorded in the subscription table or not so let's go to the subscription table to see the details of the subscription plan so as you can see in the subscription table uh, the subscription product has been tracked along with the details related to the subscription id the parent order id and the status that is active and the product name that is maxine subscription and what uh, is the recurring amount of that subscription product and what is the username of that subscription product what is the next payment date can also be seen here and what is the subscription expiry date when the subscription will get expired and from here the admin or the shop owner can also cancel that subscription and if he wants to delete the data he can simply click on this and perform the bulk action and simply delete the data so this is how the shop owner or the merchant or the woocommerce merchant can track all the related information related to the subscription product now at last we will see what are the advantages of subscriptions for woocommerce so let's see what are the advantages of subscriptions for woocommerce 
So with subscriptions for WooCommerce plugin, the store owner can deduct the initial fee via WooCommerce merchants in order to get assurance of subscription from the customers. The store owner can create simple products as subscription product with the help of checkbox. The WooCommerce merchant can offer free trial to the customers and can also set limit for the free trial period. Subscriptions for WooCommerce plugin provide the functionality to stop the subscription by the merchant as well as the user. The merchant can get the full reports of subscriptions through subscription table. Both the shop owner and the customer can set an expiry limit of subscription. So this was all about the demo video of subscriptions for WooCommerce plugin and if you liked watching the video make sure to hit the subscribe button and like and share the video and if you have any doubts and queries regarding the plugin functionalities you can mention your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you so till the next video stay connected with us thank you